a KQED television production. It's like holy mother of comfort food. Throw it down, it's noodle crack. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter. Okay, I'm the bacon guy, right? <laughs> Oh, it just did one. a jig every time I dipped into it. It just completely blew really? my mind. I felt like I had a mouthful of raw vegetables and dry dough. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert first. Yes. It, uh, <laughs> you told me you had to wait. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru online at Subaru.com. Located at the Southern Gateway to Napa, Jamison Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com. Oakland International Airport. Offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, public address announcer Matt Hurwitz is ready to give commentary on his dining destination. He puts down the mic to pick up a fork to parlay the play for every savory mouthful. It's a slam dunk. Blogger Leanne Battelle writes about food policy, rituals, and traditions, and explores the Bay Area for local ingredients, which led her right to the source, where the grass grows wild and the wildlife roams free. And fun girl Angela Chavez is a homemaker who loves her food and dabbles in desserts. She does have a savory side to go along with that sweet tooth, though, and she pacifies her piquant passions with pickles at her incubator spot in San Francisco. You'll find her purchasing provisions at Polly's Pickling. There is a lack of good Jewish food in the city, and um, we're really lucky to be in Bernal Heights, where there's a good Jewish community. It's been really, really supportive of us. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Ashby. My restaurant is Polly's Pickling in Bernal Heights. I'm Paul Ashby, co-owner of Polly's Pickling. My wife does all the cooking, and I pretty much do all the pickling and running around. Growing up in Philly, there was a lot of different delicious pickles to try. All the recipes for the pickles uh, we basically developed through trial and error. After a few tries, we kind of had some really good stuff. As the seasons change, we end up with different vegetables that we like to pickle with. We have uh, homemade fountain sodas. All the syrups for the fountain sodas are made from one of our vendors here, Spice Hound. And then we also make egg creams. Well, the incubator space provides an outlet for brand new businesses to really just try it out and test the waters. We share the space, we make some decisions together, we bounce ideas off of each other, and you don't have to pay exorbitant rent. The owner here, Deborah Resnick, really wanted to just provide a space for new businesses to get off their feet. We're a to-go restaurant, so a lot of people come here, get a nice lunch, and go to the top of the hill and enjoy our food. All right, Angela. You gotta love pickles to go to Polly's oh, Pickling, don't you? Love them, love them, love them. Uh, they have the best pickles I've ever had in my life. It, they're fresh and crunchy and packed with flavor. My favorite definitely is the garlic dill. They also pickle vegetables. They'll do cauliflower, they'll do carrots, they'll do all kinds of seasonal vegetables. But I not only go there for their pickling items, but they have great spreads. So for instance, the smoked fish spread, it's, it's incredible. Their sandwiches are huge. 
I mean, <laughs> if you're hungry, they will feed you. They Matt have these over huge here shaking sandwiches. his head to the big old sandwich. It was definitely filling, and I got to yeah. say that the sandwiches were one of the uh, better items that I had there. We actually had the Reuben, which had their brisket, as oh, well as great. the house-made sauerkraut, which yeah, was great, yeah. and mm -hmm. the cheese. Uh, very filling. The Russian dressing. Got to have the Russian Come on. dressing. Yeah. Everything there. is homemade there. Everything, Everything is every homemade. Item. The brisket yeah. was very tender. There was some marbling yeah. in there. The problem I had with it that I felt was it was a slightly under-seasoned, and mm. the cheese on the sandwich also wasn't melted very much, so it oh, almost no. had this congealed texture to it. Yeah. A couple other items had the smoked white fish, which is actually brought in from New York, since they don't have a smoker in-house, and that yeah. was very good. That's true. Yeah. And as yeah. you mentioned, it is a takeout only place, yes. so you have, a, have to have a place where you can go and sit down and eat it right away. And there's so, a bench right in front. There is a bench out <laughs> in front. There's right a right park right. a block exactly. away that has I didn't know tons about the park. of yeah. uh, it was a tables, cool and, and it's got a 360 view of the city, which I, I mean, it's breathtaking. I love it. Heights. And, you know, and Leanne, what it's, did you it's have a when, great when, little neighborhood. I know. I, I love that. it. Yeah. I had the brisket too. I don't know if the cheese was an add-on option because I did not have cheese you, on it. It's, it is an add-on um, option. Yeah. And I had it on the sourdough bread, which, yeah. which really, you know, you think you got to wear a bib when you have a sandwich like yeah. that, but it really held the, the sandwich together well. Um, very, and very then tasty. you had the pickle. And then yeah. the pickle. And I oh, love the aspect. Oh, come on. What about the pickles? The, the pickles pickle, are incredible. It was one of the better items that I did have. They can tell it's fresh, good. And that they're you know farm quality ingredients. Yeah, yeah they don't, it's very they, fresh. They, yeah. Tuna well, is not canned tuna. tuna. Oh is no, the coon, fresh not they call tuna. it not from canned yeah. tuna. Yeah. And yeah. really, really good tuna. Real That's tuna. That's great. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And you can ask for taste of things. Um, there there were really is Paul and Liz behind, behind, of behind the counter. Pickles. Yep. They yeah, they will, they will let you taste everything. I mean, even her grab locks that she makes is incredible. This rub that she has is I I've asked her for the rub itself, but the salmon is like top notch. I love smoked salmon. I'm a I'm a grab locks girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has to be the best Gravlox in San Francisco. It's I love that. I'm a Gravlox girl. You know, you I am. Very often, yeah. right? I love it. I mean, that's what hooked me. First, what hooked me was the pickles. Right. Because I had a sample right. of the pickles, but then I saw the salmon and I just couldn't stop ordering it right. with the grilled coleslaw. I mean, it's it's not mayonnaise y type of slaw. I mean, it's just really zippy and grilled. It's got a smoky and crunchy to it. I love I it. I really love the grilled aspect of the vegetables. Yeah. Very different, very crunchy, very yeah. fresh. Mm -hmm. But it was also lacking acidity. It was mm -hmm. lacking That's salt. Where you get and, the pickle, baby. Are you and, the pickle? And, and yeah. It was lacking oh, seasoning. Lemon. So when I took it home, I felt I was adding vinegar, I was adding salt. Wow. But the charredness of the vegetable was very nice. So yeah. that was something as a coleslaw fan I was a oh. little disappointed with. Please try the smoked salmon okay. or the tuna. I mean, you can't miss it. It's incredible. Also, if she has that pasta shell salad, you'll love oh. it. The one item on there um, that stood out for us extremely well on a positive level was the kugel. I will say the <gasps> kugel nice. was you very had nice. It. Yes, no. it's Cinnamon really good. Raisins, moist. Mm -hmm. We heat it up yeah. at home after I oh. took it out, and it was really good, and yeah. I will say it was better than my grandmother's. And that yeah. co-op of exactly. stores Isn't is, that great? is just great yeah. with the spicery and, and, and the waffle place. The waffle and place. then, come on, the fresh piroshkis, the Russian yes. place. Yes. So you can really walk around and sort of get you a... You can. Yeah. It's got a great yeah. I love feel. it. And can I Everyone just tell you, them. the pickled green beans with yeah. the homemade horseradish, take that home and make a Bloody Mary, mm. and you Ooh. will be... Oh, Ooh. You will be everyone's favorite. And Egg cream, right? right. How many well, places? Well, that's what I was going to mention. The egg cream had to have the egg cream. You know, which and this is, is like, kind of a funny taste combination yeah. mm -hmm. with yeah. a brisket and the and the briny potato salad. But yeah. But so good. Yeah. And vanilla have, or chocolate a, or Mexican chocolate? I had chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> All right. For the real deli feel. Yeah. This is your spot. Good. Wrap it up. Okay. If you want a great sandwich, if you want something simple, even with spreads, and maybe a walk to the park. This is your place. Okay, and Matt? Great small business success story, homemade food. I probably wouldn't go across town back there again, but if I was in Bernal Heights or on Cortland, I might give them another shot. Okay, and Leanne? I love the heart and authenticity that goes into the food that they make and the, the general neighborhood feel. All yeah. right, if you would like to try Polly's Pickling, it's on Cortland at Bocana in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-285-0800. It's open for lunch and early dinner Wednesday through Monday, closed on Tuesdays. It is takeout only, and the average tab for a meal is around $15. East Bay.
Bay artists and artisans come together with the chef and owners of Matt's Choice to serve up an eclectic menu of Mediterranean and New American dishes in a relaxed setting. On 4th Street in Berkeley, it's called Zoot on 4th. My partner, Denny Abrams, and I have developed 4th Street shopping area over the last 35 years and designed a number of restaurants, but this is our first attempt at operating a restaurant. I'm Rick Milliken, and along with Denny Abrams, my partner, we own Zoot Restaurant. Our goal was to create a restaurant that would serve the 4th Street shoppers and shopkeepers and the office people, but also to serve the greater community, the neighborhood, and beyond. We hired Jim Wimborough, who is our chef, and Michael Petrilli, our general manager. They've been with us since the day we opened. Hi, I'm Jim Wimborough, the executive chef of Zoot Restaurant. We have uh, California Mediterranean food. Our philosophy at Zoot here is to use all local, seasonal, sustainable products in all the things that we make. My name is Michael Petrilli. I'm the general manager of Zoot. Zoot offers a dog-friendly patio or atrium room, our cozy alcove room, a wonderful bar section with high tops, as well as the main dining room. We also offer an array of wines from around the world, several wines on tap from local Berkeley residents, as well as wines by the glass. We wanted a restaurant that was open to the street, light, airy, friendly, with a great bar and great food to match it. And I think they've done a wonderful job at helping us create our vision. All right, Matt, Zoot has a, a little bit of everything for everyone, doesn't it? It does, and that's why I actually followed the chef who took over there. He was previously at Mediterranean restaurants in San Francisco, and I've been going there since they've been open for the last three years. Menu is constantly changing daily based on what's fresh, but there are a few things that stay on the menu. The lamb meatballs, I always get them, five meatballs in a tray, sitting on a bed of a tomato compote, which is zesty. You get the cumin from the meatballs and a hint of cinnamon in the tomato compote. Take it with the Acme bread, just sop up all the sauce and juice on there. That's the one go-to appetizer starter I always get. And there's always a constant array of other things there from grilled octopus to stuffed squid. So you're never disappointed with what's offered there. A lot of diversity. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I tried, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tried yeah. a lot of stuff, Angela. We what? went from cocktails <laughs> to wine, and then I think we had- My fun girl right over here. <laughs> I, <laughs> love yeah. I like to eat. And they have wine on tap. They have a really yes, affordable yeah, wine list. Yeah. The cocktails, though, yeah. were, yes. were huge. The the margarita I mean, we was, loved was great. I, we had about some those. signature specialty cocktails. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew what they were, but they were incredible. Um, but we, we had a lot. I mean, we did it all. The burger there and the fries were perfect. Mm. I mean, it was the perfect burger. It was 14 bucks, but it was worth every penny. Those fries were addictive. I couldn't stop eating them. It was perfect. I had a steak. I went for lunch, and they accommodated me because I had to try the steak. Yeah. Mm. The steak was great. It had these big, beautiful wedge fries with some kind of lemon vinaigrette. Are you a medium rare girl? Are I you? am definitely medium a medium rare girl. Oh, rare. I love the mm -hmm. medium rare. Just walk the cow by the fire and I'm in. There you go. Mm -hmm. Leanne, what was your appetizer and I starter? had the Brussels sprouts, which I think is a very popular item there. People go there for that. They fry them in canola oil, but they, they're not really fried. Yeah. They're more flaky and, and have a generally soft texture and there's a little bit of garlic and Parmesan cheese and bacon. The bacon was a, a little chewy, I found, um, but they were very good, yeah. and, and I could see how they could be addictive. We finished those yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Uh, we had the lamb shank, mm -hmm. which was also very good, good flavor, and it was on a polenta, which was soft and creamy, yeah. and I loved the way that soaked up the juices. It was pretty lean. It, it was a good dish. I thought it was a little bit pricey, but it was, it was a good dish. It took me a bit of time to figure out the identity. You know, was it a very casual burger pizza place, or was was it a more, you know, fine dining restaurant with very unique creative dishes? So we kind of tried to split our choices. The pizza yeah. I had had um, eggs on the top, a couple of oh, eggs, I which I thought one. was yeah. interesting, but the eggs really seeped into the dough yeah, and, and the dough was dry, but in the middle it was just, mm. it just didn't work. It Maybe was, I should have ordered a different mm. pizza because this pizza that I had was uh, uh, different peppers and goat cheese, onions, mm. but it was like, toasted bread with raw vegetables. Mm. I was so bummed out because it, you know, I was thinking it was it was going to be a great pizza. The crust you know? was a little dry. Was, not, not, everything not, was dry. Yeah, yeah. I, I found that like too with the pizza mm. and, yeah. and, the, and the house made sausage was 
kind of had an odd flavor and, and was also very salty. But, but, I mean, they did have some good yeah. stuff, like the, the lamb meatballs. Yeah. Had those Excellent. too. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. And yeah. you like those, Leanne, as yes, well? Yes, they were. I loved the fact yeah. that, like you said, they were so tender yeah. and light. Yeah. Right. And, and that sauce it, so. was just, yeah, very tasty. And you've talked a lot about meat dishes, but there are actually quite a lot of vegetarian-friendly dishes at this place as well. They have a lot of salads. One salad that mm -hmm. I always constantly get and sometimes I've asked for it even on a bigger entree size is their chicory salad. And it's kind of this oh, nice I combination of the bitterness of the chicory, the creamy bite of the blue cheese, you got the crunch mm -hmm. of the walnuts and the fruitiness of the pears and dried plums. And that's a salad that I always think, I'm not gonna get it because I wanna save room for other things, yeah. but I always Good. do get, get it. it. Gotta right. get your favorite. Yes. Right. And they have a great wine list showcasing mm -hmm. a lot of countries in the Mediterranean. Yeah. So you can start off with a Greek Assertico from Santorini. And, and they've then got Greek wines, they've got great Rioja. A wide variety nice. of Nebbiolos mm -hmm. from yeah. Piedmonte region. And okay, so right, yeah. a lot of great options on there that you can choose from. And you mentioned about the identity of it, which is mm -hmm. something interesting because I have gone for lunch, I've gone for mm -hmm. dinner, I've gone for a late lunch, early dinner before going down to the arena in Oakland for a basketball game, mm -hmm. and I'll spend a couple hours just at the bar. Yeah. You get a wide mix of clientele, very casual. It can also have business meetings. You can have those celebratory meals where you want to spend a little bit more for dinner. So I think they offer a little bit of everything no matter when you go. And as you mentioned, you ordered something that was not they normally on the very lunch menu. Mm -hmm. I mean, the service is excellent, even just for that alone, and the cocktails, I'm good. I, I would definitely go back. And what about dessert, yeah. Leanne? We had a very traditional Sunday, and it, it w was not mm. so great. I mean, I do mm. love and that's an a ice signature cream Sunday. Yeah. Who doesn't? But it didn't um, stand out. The Sunday for us, and especially my wife, is her signature go-to dish that she is loves. The it, is the Sunday, and the one thing that's very unique about it, they're, like most of their dishes, is that they make every single ingredient in there. It's homemade ice cream, homemade. The caramel, ice cream was good. Homemade chocolate sauce. Just needed and more the, sauce. Yes, yeah. and the candied uh, nuts that, that are on top. That was a little top. odd. Yes, I mean they just weren't crunchy. And uh -huh. that's something that she really loves. My mm -hmm. wife promised me that I would never say it's a marriage of flavors, but I'll just say there was a lot of good things going on on that Sunday. So she always does that. A good marriage. Yes. There marriage you go. All right, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us, Matt. A great, casual, family-friendly place in Berkeley serving a wide variety of Mediterranean fare. It's my go-to spot for the perfect Sunday. Okay, and Angela? Uh, easy parking, great food. I'd give it another shot. Okay, and Leanne? Great variety of food, but I think it might be better if they focused on either more casual fare or more fancy fare and, and did that well. All right, if you would like to try Zoot on 4th at Hearst in Berkeley, the telephone number is 510-644-0444. Open every day for lunch and dinner with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $40. I am so lucky to travel the wine world and have seen many beautiful places, but nothing compares to the dramatic beauty of South Africa. From historic Constantia on the slopes of Cape Town's Table Mountain to scenic Stellenbosch and culinary capital Franchuk, the Western Cape wine country offers a plethora of pleasure. International varieties such as Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc, Grenache and Shiraz are produced successfully, but what sets the country apart in viticultural terms are two varieties, Chenin Blanc and Pinotage. Chenin Blanc, traditionally called Steen, is the most widely grown grape in the Cape. It can be sweet, dry, sparkling or distilled, but most versions are fresh, light and fruity. And Pinotage, unique to South Africa, is a grape that was made by crossing two other red grapes, Pinot Noir and Sanzo. Quality Pinotage, especially when made with intense, low-yielding vines, is beginning to find its way to the world stage. Cheers. It's all about the meat at Leanne's rural location. Combining a farm outlet, butcher shop, and restaurant where the pasture-to-plate philosophy is practiced with skill, head to Point Reyes to find Marin Sun Farms butcher shop and restaurant. Point Reyes is a unique place. The pastures are green most of the year. The cows are out on the pasture. It's very visible, the agricultural production. My name is David Evans, and this is the Marin Sun Farms butcher shop in Point Reyes Station. <laughs> Marin Sun Farms is an extension of my family's ranch and my roots here in Point Reyes. I opened the Marin Sun Farms Butcher Shop in 2005 with the idea of customers buy direct from us and taste how we prepare our meats the best. My name is Paul Bondic. I manage the butcher shop, I manage the restaurant, and I make sure all of our guests have a nice time when they're here. 
It's a unique situation where they can come in and pick anything out of the meat case and we'll cook it up for them. It's the true definition of farm to, to plate. All of the meat here is 100% grass fed, pasture raised, and food shed sourced. And we like to make sure things are cooked nicely and seasoned well. On my ranch, I raise beef cattle and chickens for eggs, and I've networked with a number of other sustainable producers around the, the state that produce different meats under the protocol that Marin Sun Farm puts out. I want customers to come away with a sense of place. They're supporting the surrounding area and its agricultural roots and the sustainability of its lands. But there's three to 400 other restaurants and artisan butcher shops in the Bay Area and Los Angeles that are purchasing our meats so that customers all around California can access these meats without having to come all the way to Point Reyes Station to do it. There's a steak in the oven. Leanne, there is no need for the term, where's the beef, <laughs> huh, in this place. I mean, no. I am a meat lover. This is about meat, it real is. meat. Thankfully, they changed their signage to show that it is a restaurant and not just a butcher shop, because I used to drive by it. I went in, and I've been going ever since. It's just a great, casual spot. You can sit outside, can you? Yes, and their herbs are growing around mm -hmm. the periphery of the outdoor area. They have about five or six uh, burgers each day, um, from goat to chicken to obviously the beef. And in fact, the day that I was there, they had a special, which was a combination of filet and New York strip steak that they ground into a burger. The burgers are juicy and substantial, and each one is prepared in a different way. Uh, the beef burger this particular day had uh, Gruyere cheese melting all over the top, and their house-cured bacon. Everything uh, is better with bacon. Come yes, on, yeah. of course. A little you bit gotta, of bacon. Uh, yeah. Never hurts. Gotta throw the bacon. <laughs> It's called Super Awesome Bacon. Their buns come from Stinson Beach and are so yummy. And a, and a light side salad with a champagne vinaigrette. Right. It's just and really, really let's talk a little really bit more tasty. about the meat because David Evans, this is a, yes. a, a, a farm, For, really. Fourth this generation a, cattle farmer. That's right. Yes, and they have a co-op up there in Point Reyes. So mm -hmm. what they don't actually grow on that farm, they bring in from other local farms. I mean, when you think of farm uh, to table concept. This is it. This yes. is it. Yes. I mean, it. Every single thing was incredible. It was almost life-changing because oh, I will nice. be taking a trip out there, um, you know, regularly now. At it's the Gateway to drive. Point Reyes, it's a great place to start I or to end the it. day and you get some meat to take home right. to grill when at home. you can walk into a so place and you can see your meat there, yeah. freshly ground, the, the, the freshness of the vegetables and how uh, generous they are. When they make soups, but I think the key to those soups is the stock and they go through this whole multi-step process to make this the stock. stock. And it's in the and freezer. It's so you can buy it. You, you, yeah. And tell me what you had to eat. That, that was life-changing. I want to hear First, I have to say, though, is the wine list one. was great. Mm -hmm. It went well with the meal. And cold um, local beers. I love mm -hmm. it. I love the fact that I can order a beet and arugula salad. I had that, with which was very good, with the Point Reyes blue cheese. Blue Point Reyes blue. <gasps> mm, Point it was so good with that flavorful cheese, with the earthy beets. It was a great combination. So good, and it was big. Let's see, we had rosemary beer battered um, onion rings. Uh, we also had the Brussels sprouts. Right. <laughs> okay, those wait a minute, wait a are minute. Are those outrageous? Those were the best fried Brussels they, sprouts. They I fry them in pork ever. lard. No one so can do them, no one can do them the way they did it. They're crispy and flaky with this oily. willowing fresh like parmesan, parmesan that pours like, over the top of the Matt, you want to jump in this girl right. first here, or what's going on? It was great. <laughs> I had the goat burger, and I did not know what goat meat was going to taste like by itself. But it was delicious. It was herbaceous and barnyardy. And <laughs> by itself, I probably wouldn't have the goat patty, but it's topped with a chev cheese, some caramelized onions, some mushrooms, and you put them all together. It was just very creamy and luscious, and it was very filling. It was not a huge piece of meat, but all together, very satisfying. And I'm glad I made that choice. We also got the fried chicken sandwich. Oh. Uh, a little hard and messy to eat because it was just bursting mm -hmm. over the bun, but it was still delicious. Okay. I did find the meat quality of all the proteins to be top notch and obviously yeah. you pay a little bit more for yes. that kind of meat mm -hmm. yeah. than other places. Yeah. And I did find the sandwiches on the sandwich portion of the menu yeah. to be reasonable for the quality yeah. and how much you get. Mm -hmm. I did find um, the entrees, the steak and fries, steak frites combination mm -hmm. that were 
20 different proteins that you mm -hmm. can purchase or right. match up. Mix in different ways. Mix, mix and match. Yeah. You can yeah. pick anything exactly. from the case right. for a flat fee of $12, and they'll prepare it any way you like. Well, in addition to Plus what the rate is. So yeah. I was yes. thinking of that, and if I went back for dinner, you can potentially pay up to $32, $33 for that a entree. Great and for steak. a casual no, come on. Yeah. place. <laughs> you're going to eat the you're best, gonna, baby. You're going to eat you're the best. Yeah, you have to get in that mindset. Do I want to go to a formal steakhouse, or do I want to go there and prepare to pay for that? way to do it is to maybe on your way out of Point Reyes yeah. to pick up something and, and grill it at home. I have to say mm -hmm. though, it's kind of bummed me out a little bit, was the fries. They were really limp. They oh, were just limp's not kind good of in a fry. like not, mm -hmm. not crunchy at all. Maybe, they were just kind of limp. Maybe a bad batch. We found the fries to be very delicious. And the really? house made ketchup. That's really house good House made too. ketchup. My yeah. son did Great not ketchup. want to give me the french fries. The chef loved how much we loved our meal. Oh, he yeah. gave this little sample of a bruschetta sandwich that they oh, were putting on the menu. Nice? Yeah. It's this uh, pork that just has this beautiful rosemary kind of pesto mm. and they roll it up and they roast it. But they put it on this fluffy kind of focaccia with apple chutney. Oh. Fresh right. apple yeah. chutney. I love the different combinations. I mean, it was just like <laughs> sweet and savory and mm -hmm. salty and like, oh my and God. And you loved it. Well, you've transformed so her good. life. So I'm give so us happy. A, give yes. us a quick wrap up. If you're looking for a true California farm to table experience, juicy burgers, satisfying sides, check it out. Hope you're not a vegetarian. <laughs> okay, and Matt. Wouldn't drive an hour out of my way just for a burger, but if I was spending the day or the weekend in the Point Reyes area, I would most likely go back and try a different one of their proteins, a different burger or sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Angelo, you have to go. <laughs> Be adventurous. Go for it. You'll love it. I will definitely go again and again. If you would like to go to Marin Sun Farms Butcher Shop and Restaurant, it's on Shoreline Highway 1 in Point Reyes. Telephone number is 415-663-1800. It's open for lunch and early dinner Friday through Sunday with lunch Monday and Thursday closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Reservations are not accepted and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $30. Well, I have to thank all my fun guests on this week's mm -hmm. show. Angela Chavez with The Marketplace, which houses local artisans and the acidic-centric servings at Pauly's Picklin. Mm -hmm. Matt Hurwitz, that brings together the zesty, best of both worlds Mediterranean and American fair at Zoot on 4th in Berkeley. And finally, Leanne Battelle, where family and heritage makes for the ultimate farm-to-fork experience at Marin Sun Farms Butcher Shop and Restaurant in Point Reyes. Now, we really want to hear your thoughts about today's show and your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So go to our website at kqed.org slash check, please, where you'll find a lot more information and the details on all the restaurants featured. You can watch a segment or download a whole show. And you can read the notes on the wines we're drinking today that I've written up for you. And don't forget, you can stay in touch with us via Facebook and Twitter. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sirocco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 This show is available on demand and online. To watch an episode, find restaurant information, or to apply to be on the show, go to our website at kqed.org slash check please. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... IRG has thousands of natural stone surfaces, all in stock today. IRG, online at marblecompany.com. Bay Area Subaru dealers. Opportunities to test drive the 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek Hybrid are available at local Subaru dealers. Subaru, online at Subaru.com. Just 45 minutes from the Bay Bridge, Jameson Ranch Vineyards offers handcrafted wines, chef's food pairings, and weekly live music. JamisonRanch.com Oakland International Airport, offering new flights to Europe, Hawaii, and all across the USA. Oakland International. Park close. Fly on time. With whole toasted sesame seeds, garlic, ginger, and other natural ingredients, soy ve sauces and marinades bring a taste of Asia to your favorite dishes. Support KQED's vehicle donation program and donate a car to help raise funds for quality public media. Powered by cars.
a KQED television production.